Well, welcome back. This is going to be a travel vlog. There's a lot going on in Oingqing, but there's a lot of the same. We do have some big news, but I just I can't share it with you yet. So I thought what I'd do is catch you up on this summer's adventure. And then maybe next week, I'll tell you the big news. How's that sound? All right, so here we are on the way to West Virginia. Our family does, uh, we, our plan was to go to all 50 states before the kids get out of high school. And so we did West Virginia on the way to Maine. And they love pepperoni rolls. We have rules. And uh, so while we were in West Virginia, we also went into a coal mine. Go on, don't stand up. It's very important. Number two, keep hands and feet inside the rails and the cars. We do have some clothes. And it's a lot of what you'd expect. And it's cool. We've done a dairy farm in Wisconsin, a coal mine in West Virginia. You see the theme here, right? We're trying to do things that are relevant to the place that we're visiting. We have rules as to how to do a state. And so it has to be something that's relevant to the state, geographically or historically relevant. So West Virginia was a coal mine. I mean, what else? I was going to eat something local, which we did was pepperoni roll. And you can eat somewhere local, which you're going to see here in a minute. In this little, this is Beckley, West Virginia. In Beckley, they've got the little town, and there's a single room schoolhouse and a bunch of old houses from the coal era. This is Brett Fake crying. He's always been good at that. And there's a little science section. The eyes move. That's how you know it's really great painting. The eyes move. Yeah. We finished up at Tudor's Biscuit World. It's like the Chick fil A of West Virginia. It was great. And then we were on the way to Maine. So the impetus for this trip was to actually go to Maine for a big Schulten's family vacation. Every two years we go on a vacation as a, as a family and we're headed to Maine. And uh, of course we've got to do something that's relevant to Maine, eat local Maine food. You know where this is headed. This was actually our house. It was literally on the ocean. Here's the quintessential beach shot. Take a picture of you by the Atlantic Ocean. It's a mega wave. <laughs> right, the big event in Maine was this. We went out on a lobster fishing expedition to go lobster potting. The fog rolled in. You couldn't see but 30 yards around the boat. It was really ominous and cool. And then, and just like that, it was sunny. And here are, uh, here's Rhett, my son, and uh, his cousin. And Bisa pulling up a lobster pot. The part we measure of a lobster is called a carapace. Close to the back of the eye socket where the back meets the teeth. We actually didn't keep anything that we caught. They were all too small. Buy one claw. That one had one claw. Good job, Bennett. But it was still really cool. Everybody looked really cute in their fisherman's gear. Even Holland got in on the action. She got a sea snail. So she was showing everybody her sea snail. Did pull up some crab again. We didn't keep any crab. This one, Paisa was holding. She claimed that it pinched her, and I was suspicious. All right, I was suspicious, but she dropped it at some point. However, upon closer inspection, slow mo. Oh yeah, it got her. So she wasn't lying. Sorry, Paisley, for not believing you right away. We had lobster that night. We didn't catch this lobster. The boat we were on did catch that lobster, but we had lobster. And then we did a quintessentially East Coast thing. We did these kind of um, beachside resort amusement parky activities. Spent way too much on those. On those. That's what we did. And then we went to a lighthouse. This lighthouse you're about to see is the lighthouse that apparently inspired Red Lobster. Never looked that closely at Red Lobster, but there you go. There it is. I'll have to look closer next time I'm at. Uh, it was beautiful. And the best lobster rolls we had was in the parking lot of this place. And then we went candlestick bowling, which was hilarious because my mom and dad are good bowlers. Very good bowlers. They pride themselves in the bowling. Nice. But all your skills in bowling don't seem to have much difference in candlestick. Brett, 
His ball skills really betrayed him. Not very good. He hung in there, though. Holland and Paisley did serviceably. I eventually got the hang of it. Actually, my wife dominated oh, got a strike. everybody. Allison's first strike. This was the result. This was her beating us. But she also beat everybody else. Maine was over. So now we're going to leave Maine and we're going to head south. And we thought, all right, we'll see some states on the way back. So we're going to, we're going to do some New Jersey activities. Um, our Jersey activities were Morristown, which is where Washington spent one of the winters during the Revolutionary War. This was an interesting little slide about the inflation of continental dollars during the war. Amazing. If you print more money, then eventually you'll have inflation. This is not a new phenomenon. And then we've got Washington Sword. He had a dozen of them. This is just one of many. Rhett wasn't that thrilled. And then we went to Princeton, and we toured the Princeton battlefield. There's not much there. And then we had hoagies in Princeton. I did not realize that Princeton was in Princeton, New Jersey. I didn't know there was a Princeton, New Jersey. Anyway, next chapter of the story, our, our, our van broke down in Delaware. As we were crossing the Delaware Bridge, our van broke down. So we pulled in, got a rental, and then we went and did the Dover State House Park. These are our kids as, um, as Speaker of the House in Delaware. Beautiful building. You can go to the old one. You can go to the new one. They've got a whole little bunch of museums right there, all right down uh, downtown. And we took that rental van, and we went to Baltimore. And we did Camden Yards. Hi. Thank you. Dad, why are you little in the The moment we left Camden Yards. And people wish me a happy Father's Day. And there's mommy leaving the park, and Rat trying to hug the thing. And where's Paisley? Paisley was here too. Paisley, what do you think of baseball? Boy. Terrible, terrible. You'll love baseball when you get older. All right, and the next morning we woke up and we had Dunkin' Donuts in the Inner Harbor. That's the USS Constellation. We went on that boat. It's actually a boat built for the anti-slave trade in the 1840s. Very well preserved, beautiful ship. Really cool. I've been on it before. This is not my first time. It was first time for the kids. Very cool. That was a sign that said, damn the torpedoes. And Rhett thought it was, uh, in, it, he needed to point at it. So there we are at the USS Constellation. Of course, in the, in the harbor in Baltimore, you've got the USS Torsk, which is a World War II U.S. submarine. It's actually the last submarine to, to get a kill during World War II. So we went up in, in there. Tried to shove Holland in the torpedo tubes. She did not want to go. What should you have in Maryland? Well, you should have crab. You should have crab. So we had crab. Not everyone was thrilled with the crab, but Mom and I liked it well enough. And then we did Fort McHenry. Fort McHenry was the site of where the Star Spangled Banner was written. It's a cool kind of preserved fort. It's a minor skirmish to the British, to be honest. Uh, but we make a bigger deal of it militarily than I'm sure they do. They shot some, spent like 25 hours bombarding it, and then kind of gave up on it and went away. But we wrote the Star Spangled Banner, and it's actually a really cool park. And then we went into Washington, D.C. Uh, of, co of course, the, the van was in Delaware getting fixed, so we had to find something to do. Uh, and so this was the family doing Washington, D.C. Of course, we took the metro everywhere we went. I don't want to drive around DC, so I parked the van. And we took the metro. It did now, Smithsonian's. Would you like your photo Philanthropist to death us. I want to be Neanderthalus. You are becoming Homo Neanderthalus. It just—it didn't change. It's just the same. Of modern humans. 
I'm a happy Neanderthal. <laughs> I'm happy in my cave. I'm happy with my life. You are now homo Neanderthalans. This was us touching a Mars rock. All right, this was a weird exhibit of all the president's hair up until Benjamin Harrison. Weird. Red started doing this weird smile thing where he did his lower lip. It really ruined a bunch of photos. Here's him ruining a photo at the Washington Monument. Uh, here's him ruining a photo at the White House. Dude, what is it with kids ruining photos? It just just smile. Oh, here's him ruining me one at the archives. Show that one earlier. Uh, we didn't realize it until we got to the film. Anyway, so the gist of every state we did, we did West Virginia, Maine, coming down New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, and then Washington, D.C. That was, that was this trip, six. So that brings us to a grand total of 22 states. Each state we ate something local. D.C. is a little difficult. Like, what is a local D.C. food? I, you know, we just went with Thai food. I think that was some, maybe that was some pho. Anyway, and then we did Ford's Theater to finish it off. where Lincoln died, everything's been replaced. Nothing's original. This is a pillar made of all the books written about Lincoln. So if you ever thought about writing a book about Lincoln, that's the stack you're heading to. And then it was over. We headed back across the Chesapeake Bay Bridge to pick up the van and then head home to Georgia. I drove through the night. We arrived the next morning. Six days. 22 down. 29 to go. 51, 50 states plus DC. And here's here's Holland doing her impression of JFK. Uh, we believe very strongly in preserving the right to differ in this country and the right to this country. And if I have done a good job. There you go. That's what we did this summer. And now it's back to the grindstone. We got big news, lots of things to share with you. Just got to get it okayed, and then we can share it. We'll see you soon.